Hello, clanmates. It's Space Cubic Snub. Another week in review on time this time. Gonna try. It's like a New Year's resolution. Gonna try and keep to the schedule. Today is January 11th, 2020. So, Let's see, as we normally do, uh, overall ranking dropped to 82. We were 84 before, uh, like last week. Uh, we got one new person, Crazy Monkey, uh, has been accepted into the clan, and no one has really lost. Uh, I had mentioned all these people last week, uh, mostly for inactivity. Um, the... Normally the section here with random win weights, I'm not going to do that anymore. And I'll kind of, I'll tell you sort of why afterwards and near the end. Changing up the video a little bit. Uh, as far as Stronghold goes, we did upgrade the Attack Bomber Squadron. Uh, that's the thing that gives us airstrikes in uh, skirmishes. Uh, so we upgraded that building in this past week. Uh, Global map. Where's the treasury? Is treasury this one? Don't I normally do treasury first? I guess not. That seems weird that I would have this in this order. I didn't even ever realize this. Okay, so global map. Uh, obviously, we haven't played any games yet, so our ranking hasn't changed. Um, oh, and our ELO is still 959. Uh, that's all stayed the same. Sorry, after I do the stronghold thing, I normally look at uh, win eight, uh, this thing. I'm getting rid of this section uh, because of the last uh, two videos. If you've watched, uh, you'll know where I'm going with this. So clan uh, global map, that's been taken care of. Clan treasury is still at 544. No one's stolen any more cash uh, from there. It's going to sit there until we get going in uh, global map. Uh, as far as military participation in uh, last seven days, skirmishes, we had a 42% win rate. Uh, that's gone up from 40 of last week. We have averaged uh, nine battles, a little bit less. Last week we had 11 and we had 27 uh, active uh, players. So on that active player list, uh, we got decent amount of people that's again I'll, I'll try to stick with irregardless of the number of battles I'll just mostly call out the people that um, you know had uh, greater than 50% uh, win rate so cat bad bunny Cerberus Exervius Sortex Prostar Captain Camo all with better than 50% win rates and I'm gonna do a shout out to Jamie Mule Captain and uh, Blood Bad Bunny, Cerberus, Xervius, Sortec, uh, all with, uh, you know, 15, I guess, you know, let's do like more than 10, China, and generic name 404, all more than 10 uh, skirmishes in the past week, that is very nice to see. Advances uh, is even better, so we averaged a 46% win rate as opposed to a 39% win rate last week, which is really nice. We're way up on battles, uh, 26 battles versus only 15. Again, uh, that is a lot to do with the uh, clan participation, which everybody thanks uh, you guys for you know playing in. And you can see the big difference in the active numbers. We only had 36 active players last week. Uh, this week we have 50. In the 50s, and look at, look at, look at, look at, I gotta go all the way down here to Starbright. Mike, Severe, Severed Eye, Gamaris, Ike, China, Scorpio, Strider, Kursu, Jafter, Sortec, Crazy Monkey, Load, Space, that's me. Oh, Hayward, Preach, Starbright, all with more than 50% win rates in clan, in uh, advances. And when I look at number of games, I mean, these people, I don't know if they have a life or what, but Sortec, 57 games. Holy crap, 57 games in uh, advances. Mike, Captain, Baby, uh, Taker, Zaw, Load, uh, Dunder, Muff, I don't know. 
uh, <laughs> generic name, Ober, uh, Hagmas, Jamie, like, I mean, this is a huge list, people, Cybers, Bunny, Zervius, Blood, Shooting Blanks, Mighty China, Dirt Ghost, Mule, Last, Warlock, Sick, uh, Big Nickel, Jafter, Cat, Prostar, Gamaris, Wads, I, I'm going to say, like, majority of the entire clan had, you know, more than 10 games, like, holy cow, like, that is a ton of people playing a ton of games. Whew. That's a lot of advances. Okay, global map. Uh, obviously, it's all uh, zeros uh, because, you know, we haven't played any global maps. So now we can talk about the win eight thing. So normally, I would go into this uh, page here, right? And I would you know, shout out to Hannah, Mule, Plaz, Strider, Ike, all that kind of stuff. But as per the two videos ago, you know, we started kind of looking at that and going, listen, if like this video isn't meant to call out the individual, right? It's meant to call out with a, a respect. Uh, a context or a respect to the clan and what you potentially bring to uh, to the clan into a tier 8 skirmish or a tier 10 game and I think I highlighted um, oh does it do it this way oh this is horrible I didn't think it would do this guys my apologies so what I had been working on, and I thought that this would work, uh, it doesn't. So let's, uh, we have to do it kind of manually and you have to kind of, you know, bear with me. Uh, so I'm going to say 1200 win eight. I'm going to say more than one battle. And let's put in more than one kill. Sure. Okay, so now I'll show you this new sort of quote-unquote system that I developed. So in the past seven days, this is very, you know, clear, right? Playing at tier 10, only tier 10, tier 10 light tanks with a 52% win rate, which is obviously a pretty good win rate, a 1200 win eight one kill and at least one battle we got two names that come up captain camo and kursu both in the ebrs captain camo 33 games uh in his ebr with a 66 percent win rate averaging um and this is uh, interesting as far as numbers right so uh, camo's averaging uh spotting five tanks um and kursu's uh, spotting one and a half tanks and uh camo's got uh just over 2000 win eight and uh, kursu's just got under so these two guys clearly playing a lot of tier 10 uh light tanks and doing well and that's what this video is about it's about looking at very specific uh things now medium tank let's do zero kills and let's see how many people show up all right so we got a lot so medium tank i'm gonna go with let's do 1500 seeing as most medium tanks have about 15 to 1800 uh, HP mm, okay so that's pretty good let's try doing one kill let's see how many medium tanks there were that were thinking thinking whoops sorry bear with me holy cow my filter thing is like See if I close these down, maybe if it makes it faster. Okay, a lot more people playing medium tanks. Uh, let's see, I want to, the idea here, and I had kind of set it up before, but um, that's what I was saying didn't work. I thought that I could automate it, uh, but I'm going to have to do this manually each time, I guess. So this lo this list uh, list is kind of shortened up and looking pretty good. So in the, again, past seven days, Sortec, Generic, Fear Tooth, Fearful Tooth. I don't know why, maybe she's fearful of dentists. I don't know what that means. Uh, Hanuta and Ike, all playing tier mediums, tier 10, 
um, Ike a lot of uh, mediums at uh, 37 games look at these win rates fantastic 80 60 60s 100 with two games 60 uh, decent amount of uh, spotting decent amount of kills look at this one here Hanuta three kills and look at these win eights again with Hanuta here with uh, 5,000 so maybe this is what this video is going to be is like I guess you know because it's XVM it's pulling it from Watt Labs the the sort of deciding factor will be like the highest win eight so in this arena it's uh you know Hanuta so oh uh, that's pretty sweet heavy tanks now heavy tanks I'm willing to drop the win rate a bit uh, because uh, so I think heavy tanks have a little bit less ability to affect the uh, overall game in a pub match. Ooh, got nobody that meets that. Oh, 5,000 win eight. That's crazy. That's what I meant to put in. There we go. All right, so in this list, Mike Blood, China, generic, generic. Pack Rat, Carl, uh, 60 PPs, Mouse, Crown, Vragons, and Object 277. Again, all 10s. 41 games, Pack Attack. Uh, 41 games, 53% win rate. Um, let's see, in the win 8, that's going to go to this one here, which is generic. 404 and his 60 TP in the last 7 days. 9 games, 88% win rate, and a 3,000 win 8. Sweet. Tank Destroyers next. Whoops. That's not going to work. i got to make sure it's in caps, people. So Tank Destroyers, same thing. I'm going to drop it to 49%. I'm going to keep the win rate the where it is because you can do a bit more damage. Uh, let's do 1,800. See if we can't get a few more people on this list. Yep, there we go. So... Tier 10, Tank Destroyers, Thunder Chief, Plaza, Beefy, Beefy, Blood, and Mighty China. All, uh, let's see, E4s, Objects, Sturves, Object, uh, this tank I hate, and the E3. Um, total number of games here, Thunder Chief, 21 games, 66% win rate. Everybody actually above 60. Up, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Everyone above 60, that's fantastic. Uh, and the win eight winner goes to Plausible Dread, 27 13. Now, so I did light tanks, I did medium tanks, and um, tank destroyer, uh, heavy tanks, tank destroyer. Oh, so already. Now, here's the one. Sorry. So here's the funny one. And I'll have to ask a couple of people that play uh, RD what's going on here. But essentially, this is the lowest possible number that I can put in. I, I suppose I could put in, you know, one, and I can put in zero. I, I just I'm curious because when I ran this before. There was not a single person playing tier 10 RD in the last seven days. <laughs> I don't know why that is, <laughs> but it's interesting. All right, so that's my shout out uh, for um, the, uh, the win eight. And again, I think that the reason, uh, you know, appreciate the reason why I'm doing this. It's just to if i'm going to go through the effort of you know calling out particular people in this clan for a job well done i wanted it to be more legitimate more or more legitimate is not even the right word i don't more ref in a context of the clan right so in the context of when we play tier 10 advances and let's be honest right i when i talked to when when i mentioned in the uh in the review of tier 10 uh advances you know we we jumped quite a bit uh from 39 to 46 that's seven uh, percent greater in win rates we did 26 more games obviously the more games you win uh the the happier you are so the more battles you're going to play and there's 50 uh, people uh, actively playing so all of that 
is uh, I, I, I think connected to to this tier 10 these tier 10 games and the more tier 10 games that you play in pub matches and become you know proficient at it and the more people that we uh, have into the clan that play tier 10 and get comfortable with tier 10 uh, the better so that's why uh, I'm doing this this win eight thing a little bit differently. Hope you guys uh, like the video and the new sort of format. Um, I have had a couple of comments. Uh, I think uh, JC mentioned a really high uh, win eight uh, number for uh, light tanks, and I kind of um, well, like you can kind of see. And I don't know, maybe maybe a different way to do it is, you know, put sort of uh, have a minimum threshold, let's say. Let's just see uh, for I was going to end the video. So this is maybe yeah, so maybe it needs to be broken down where the list is bigger so the numbers are lower but maybe you got to have at least five battles and now you can see how the numbers like drop you know even lower uh, but we got one more person on that list oh we got uh, actually it's completely different now uh, so we got camel still on here sortek and zombie and again the person with the highest uh, win eight is uh, Captain Camo. Um, I think I'm just I'm actually just like talking and thinking out loud now. I'm trying to decide sort of what is it a win rate thing? Let's say forty five, like I mean that's the absolute lowest that I would So a few more people, 46% win rate. Um, it's interesting that my name hasn't come up on here. I wonder what, I must have a really bad win eight in, only a hundred win eight? Interesting. I'm just trying to decide what is the best way to like is it better to showcase everybody that has been playing so there I am space uh, so I have a really bad win eight and a really even worse win win rate um, uh, I think I think the point is still like I I and I can I'll speak for like myself um, I should be excluded from this list because that win rate is not worthy of bringing up and I should be excluded from this uh, list because that win eight isn't quite you know there I think that you know at tier 10 you should do at least a thousand and I think that you know the server average is 48 so I think at this you know class I would say a 50 percent you know win rate is not unreasonable and so we're back to you know these two guys and I think that that's the whole point right is filtering it down to say okay what you know two or three clan members have been playing a reasonable amount of games in tier 10 lights and doing uh, really well in win eight and so clearly that is mr. captain camel all right guys that is going to include conclude my video i'm going to stop babbling now thanks for all the participation i hope you enjoy the video and keep with uh keep up with the comments and let me know what you think about uh filtering the data and uh, if i should put more people on the list less people on the list boil it down to one name uh you guys let me know see ya